going into the summer, um, we're going to be, especially after this, this wet uh, weather that we've been having, we've been seeing a lot more uh, mosquito activity. And so insect bites are going to be, um, uh, I think, a, more of a problem maybe this year than it has been in other years. Um, the interesting thing about insect bites, of course, the, the number one recommendation is to be to prevent the insect from getting to your child by um, wearing long sleeve clothing, longer pants, or applying a insect repellent of some sort. But if your child does get eaten on by um, a insect, um, kids are especially bad about um, flicking away insects or keeping them off of themselves and they are such a great target for insects because insects are um, attracted to movement and kids anybody knows that toddlers and young kids are constantly on the move and so they attract those insects and once those insects kind of sit on you and their mouth parts come into contact with your skin because you're they're feeding on you and the kids don't brush them away like the adults do, the longer that an insect hangs on your skin and is connected to you, the more that you're exposed to their mouth parts, the bigger the reaction you can see. And so sometimes we can see quite large reactions from just an insect bite that doesn't have anything to do with allergies, it doesn't have anything to do with an allergic reaction or um, um, an infection of any sort. So those large red reactions can actually just still be a, a kid's um, uh, irritation and response to that insect's mouth parts and we generally just treat that with usual measures. You address the itching maybe with an antihistamine, maybe use a little something topical like an anti-inflammatory hydrocortisone Benadryl cream um, and only if it looks like that it's the redness is expanding quickly or there's streaks moving up in the, uh, an extremity or if it's associated with a temperature over 101. Those would all be indications that there's a infection that needs to be addressed. So allergic reactions are um, the types of allergic reactions that we tend to get worried about would be um, what we call the IgE mediated reactions and so those reactions would be the ones where I usually say if you're um, not having a reaction that involves eyes swollen shut, can't see, can't breathe type of reaction, the most of the other types of sensitivity reactions we see we're going to be a lot less worried about. The rashes that we tend to see in kids, we get a lot of questions about rashes and um, there are some very specific things that I'm looking for when it comes to trying to figure out if there's a rash that needs to be um, worked up or addressed. Most of the rashes that we see in children are associated either with insect bites or some sort of viral infection or some sort of um, type of, of exposure um, uh, uh, of the skin to um, whether it's a chemical or an environmental allergen. Um, most of those can be just treated symptomatically um, and then uh, the viral infections we don't recommend treating those at all, they tend to get better on their own. I always instruct parents that there are several things about a rash that would make me very concerned. One of them would be um, whether or not the, ranch, the rash is blanchable. And by blanchable I mean that if you have a rash on your skin and you push on it and it gets lighter in color and then it fills back in again, blanchable rashes are almost always okay rashes. So if you were to have a rash and you pushed on it and it didn't fade under the pressure of your finger, that's what we call a non-blanching rash. And those types of rashes, especially in the setting of fever, would make me a lot more concerned about there being something more um, serious going on. The second thing would be um, the rashes that are associated with blisters or pustules. So anytime that you have a rash associated with blisters and pustules, we generally like to go ahead and take a look at those in the office. Um, outside of those two types of rashes, um, generally most of the other causes of rashes are, are non-emergent. They're not something that we even necessarily need to see. So um, they can just usually be dressed at home.